I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the pecan. Pecan, Cary illinosis, is one of the better known hickories. It is one of six hickories found in Kentucky. Pecan is also called sweet pecan, pecan hickory, and soft shelled hickory. It is a large, long lived, deciduous tree. Trees typically grow 100 to 150 feet tall and up to 6 to 7 feet in diameter. It has a large irregular crown with ascending branches. Pecans are grown commercially in the southern states and it is the most important nut species native to the United States and there are numerous varieties and cultivars of this species. Pecan is also an excellent multi-purpose treat for the right home landscape since it provides a delicious source of edible nuts for both humans and wildlife. Pecan's natural range is in the lower Mississippi Valley and extends west into eastern Kansas and central Texas and south into northern Mexico. It is only found in the far western part of Kentucky. Pecan grows on well-drained loam soils. It does not typically grow in soils that are subjected to prolonged flooding. Its best growth is on riverfront ridges and well-drained flats. Pecan is shade intolerant, in fact the least shade tolerant of the hickories and the fastest growing. Pecan is a deciduous tree with relatively large pinnately compound leaves. They are described as pinnate because a row of leaflets forms on either side of the leaf stem called a rachis. They are similar to a feather. The leaves are alternately arranged on the stem, about 12 to 18 inches long, with 9 to 15 curved leaflets that have finely serrated margins. The leaflets are typically, but not always, oppositely arranged on the rachis and fall leaf color is a kind of a golden coppery yellow. This species is monoecious, which means a tree will have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are in four to five inch hanging yellow green catkins, usually in groups of twos or threes. The female flowers usually occur singly or just a few at the end of the new growth on the branches. Flowers bloom in early spring and they are wind pollinated. Pecan fruit is an egg or sphere-shaped nut about one and a half to two inches long. The nuts are enclosed in a thin husk that dry at maturity and split away from the nut along four seams. The fruit is initially green and turns brown to black as it ripens in early fall. Trees begin seed production around 20 years in a natural setting but can begin production at two to four years in some cultivated trees in plantations. Maximum seed bearing age is about 300 years. Trees have good seed crops every one to three years, and the seeds are dispersed by water and animals and germinate the following spring. The bark is smooth on young trees. On mature trees, the bark is a light brown to brownish gray, and it's divided into interlacing, somewhat scaly ridges with narrow fissures. The heartwood of pecan tends to be light to medium brown with a reddish hue, and the sapwood is a pale yellowish brown. It is generally ring porous to semi-ring porous with large to very large early wood pores, that's the wood formed in the spring, in a single intermittent row and medium to small late wood pores, wood that's formed later in the growing season. Tylosis is common in the pores. Pecan wood is considered non-durable to perishable regarding heartwood decay and is also susceptible to insect attack. Pecan is considered one of the hardest and strongest of woods native to the U.S., along with many other hickories. Pecan is an important wildlife tree where present in its range. The fruit provides food for a variety of wildlife, including woodpeckers, chickadees, cardinals, blue jays, pine and yellow rumped warblers, fox, gray squirrel, and raccoons. White-tailed deer browse the foliage, and pecans also provide cover for birds and mammals in the oak hickory forests. Pecan is also the larval host tree for the luna moth and the hickory horned devil. Like most adults of the giant silk moth family and the regal moth family, they do not feed and only live about a week. The wood of pecan is used for furniture, cabinetry, paneling, pallets, and veneer. The wood has a high thermal energy content when burned, so it's used for fuel wood and for smoking meats. Pecan is prized for its tasty nuts and is extensively grown in the south and abroad for nut production. The nuts are used in pies, cookies, candies, oils, and for snacking. The trees are also planted as an ornamental and can make an attractive landscape tree both visually and for wildlife where space permits since it grows quite large. 
Like most nut-bearing trees, it has a well-developed taproot and can be difficult to transplant. The National Champion Pecan, as of 2021, is in the Isle of Wight in Virginia. It is 293 inches in circumference, 97 feet tall, with a 106-foot crown spread. The Kentucky Champion Pecan, as of 2021, is in Fulton County. It is 216 inches in circumference, 106 feet tall, with a 112-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees, or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about pecan. Pecan was named the State Tree of Texas in 1919. The United States is the leading producer of pecan nuts, producing approximately 75% of the world's pecans, and we celebrate the pecan with the National Pecan Day on April 14th. Pecan is from the Algonquin word pecan and refers to any nut that required a stone to crack. Alabama and Arkansas named the pecan their official state nut, and California included pecan as one of the four state nuts. Native Americans used pecan to make a treatment for ringworm and a decoction from the bark to treat tuberculosis. The scientific genus name Caria is from the Greek Caria, the name that's applied to the walnut tree, and the species name Illinosis means from Illinois. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood and enjoy the many wonderful native trees of Kentucky, including the pecan.